Life seemed more simple in the 90s, despite all the reptilians underground. My goal used to be to become a successful comedian. Now it's escape the Archon Grid. The Archon Grid is allegedly an artificial etheric barrier that surrounds the entire Earth. It distorts space and time and pumps nonstop negative energy towards us and feeds off of that resulting misery. Not unlike a weekend with your in-laws. It's apparently so insidious, it will trick you into reincarnating again after death, wipe your memory completely, and throw you back into another body which is subject to another lifetime of the negative energies of the grid. Just some casual grid play. Obviously, you won't learn about this in school. I remember first day of freshman year of college, the professor was doing the attendance, she got down to the M's and she was like, uh, Tony Montana? Not a single laugh from the room. At that point, I knew people weren't woke yet. I don't know if the whole Archon Grid thing is true or not, but it might not be a bad idea to get ahead of it. When I have kids and they're old enough to go out at night, I'm gonna say, be safe, make good decisions, don't drink and drive, and if you die, make sure you get out of the grid. A lot of people say they wanna get off the grid. I wanna get out of it. I'm aware that this information sounds very out there, but I won't be surprised if it becomes common knowledge within a few years and worked into our culture. We'll be seeing music videos with girls twerking all over the grid. Takashi's new track, Gridlock. You should always only give your attention to the reality you prefer. So in that sense, it doesn't matter so much if the grid is real or not. The best thing to do is strengthen your vibration and heal yourself in every way. I do believe we're missing the mark when it comes to sex a lot of the time. I'm talking about from an ejaculatory accuracy standpoint. The incestual porn we see everywhere these days is really toxic. It used to be like, guy bangs MILF. Now it's, boy bangs his biological mother. It's so bad even Freud would be like, ah, uh, chill. Sex wasn't designed to be a coping mechanism for anxiety. It's an opening of chakras and connecting of energies together, not a sleazy dopamine fest. Nowadays, with the fetishizing of everything, it's like a race to the bottom. Personally, I'm not into public play at all. Let's hook up in a bunker, in a panic room, don't try to touch me at a Carly Rae Jepsen concert. We're there for Carly. Especially in the gay community, there's an overemphasis on sex and we spend too much time categorizing each other. There's just so much minutia. Are you mask? How mask? How mask on a scale of one to mask? Do you meet Fauci's standards for mask? Heterosexual people don't participate in this squabble. I've never heard, bro, she's hot, but she's totally mask. She's got a Jordan Peterson quote in her profile. Becca, he's cute, but I think he might be femme. Plenty of straight girls are tomboys, and plenty of straight guys are pussies, but it doesn't define them like it tends to do in the gay community. Every time we divide ourselves based on superficial criteria, we're doing a disservice to all. The media loves to do this, and we're seeing it right now with their coverage of the protests. I feel like before we broach the topic of race, we should really know the true origin of the human race. Might be a good background to have. You guys are like, up oh, here we go, another bullshit history lesson. My research continually leads me back to the Anunnaki, an ancient extraterrestrial race that came to the earth 300,000 years ago to retrieve gold, to balance the atmosphere of their home planet. Eventually, they decided it would be advantageous to create a worker race to help them mine the gold. At the time, Homo erectus, which is also my stage name on OnlyFans, had naturally evolved on the earth, and the Anunnaki chose to splice their genetics with them to create our race, Homo sapien. We are all different combinations of the natural stock of the Earth mixed with the hybrid extraterrestrial DNA of the Anunnaki. Really puts the race conversation into a different light. A lot of people aren't ready to accept this information. I brought it up on a first date and it ended it real quick. This kid was like, uh, no, I don't think we came from the Anunnaki. Check. Did the Anunnaki molest you as a kid? I'm not understanding this dramatic reaction. Anunnaki naki rumba. Yes, we have extraterrestrial origins, but we are really all-powerful consciousness having a limited physical experience through a vehicle known as a body. It's like going to a Halloween party, forgetting who you are, and completely identifying with your costume. I'm Sexy Nurse. We are all dreaming this world together. Our body is just the avatar we've incarnated into to experience this reality. But we're not these skin suits. There's a long history of people mistakenly identifying with these suits and foolishly believing that some suit colors are better than others. The way I look at it is, if you're cool, I wanna be friends with you. If you're hot, I wanna fuck you. It's that simple. No other descriptor or label matters. 
As a white, straight-acting male, my experiences with police at worst have been unpleasant, not violent or fatal. It's time to remind them that they're working for us, and they should have our best interest in mind. Our police force should not be trained like a military, and they really shouldn't be a force at all. No person should fear the police. We should all feel like they're there to help. Let's remove all hiding and patrolling cops. I don't need to be watched 24-7, and I don't need to be told how quickly I can move through time and space. Thank you. But the police are just a cog in a larger dysfunctional machine. This is a class war. Recent events can be boiled down to working class versus working class. Are we gonna protest outside of the Federal Reserve and the banks and the 1% that control all of the wealth? Why aren't we opposing Big Pharma and Monsanto and the online platforms that continuously violate our privacy and rights? Prime Delivery is free this week to show their support, so get those credit cards out. We are getting taxed to oblivion and we just roll over for it. Earth is the only planet you have to pay to be on. I have a gift card, so like, I'm good. We need to withdraw from this game, reclaim our sovereign free will, and create a world that serves all people. The upheaval we're seeing is the result of the mass transforming of energy of the planet. I was reading that if someone from the 1800s came here today, our bodies would appear glowing to them. If that's not motivation enough to open up a laser tag business, I don't know what is. Being woke is not just about knowing that our politicians suck and that the world is full of injustice. It's about realizing that we are not limited to these bodies, the physical world is not outside of us, and it's not real and solid in the way we've been told it is. We can create any reality we want just by shifting into that frequency. It's physics. So let's stop playing this game and start playing a new one that is loving, expansive, and fun for all. This video is sponsored by Best Fiends.